the most overpowered shotgun or the second most overpowered shotgun. Did that kill two right there? See, that's why you want the wider pellet spread. 15 different matches using a shotgun with five attachments and getting seven kills. Yeah. All right. Put stopping power rounds. Definitely get used to the to the iron sights. It's a little bit of an adjustment to get used to the iron sights or to get used to using the tighter pellet spread compared to the wider one. But if you it's pretty overpowered. And I don't think it's overpowered with the slug rounds. It's, it's kind of like a skill weapon with the slug rounds on it. And just something you got to get used to kind of. It's like a, a shotgun, a marksman shotgun almost. If that makes any sense. D-strike. I'm just not the biggest fan of them. They're pretty damn powerful though, don't get me wrong. If somebody plays a certain type of way and has their aim on point, these slug rounds are pretty ridiculous. Especially with stopping power. You almost, unless you're really, really far, you almost never get a hit marker if you're using stopping power with the slug rounds but it tightens the pellet spread. So, I mean, you got, I guess you gotta find a happy medium for you with how you want it to hit. You're gonna be slower. You're not gonna have as much bullet velocity, meaning your bullets aren't gonna travel as fast. It's gonna feel like you're having a, a slower fire rate and you're gonna lose more gunfights to people with like MP5s and stuff like that. <laughs> See, but I don't have slug rounds on right here. Look how much more. I think it comes down to personal playing style and everything like that, but gun is definitely more overpowered without the slug rounds. They're not really all of that. That's if you like to rush, at least. 